Okay. Well, uh, so the next slide is what are nonprofits looking for? And I really change it from firm because, you know, an organization, it's important for you to realize even though nonprofits think like a business, it's really important to many that they're not a business. And so this is a component you have to think about. Am I looking for an organization that's very bottom line driven? Or what or am I looking for an organization that's input or output driven? So uh, what kind of metrics do I want to be evaluated on and what kind of what kind of metrics are my are the board of directors or are the greater community really looking to measure us by. And when you think about how you're going to be measured, think that helps you think about how can I help this organization move forward. So that's why the first question is, can you help me today with my problem? So when we go to interview, the leaders and organization are always going to say, hey, how can you help me with this is my biggest problem today. How can you help me? And so this might be a skill that you bring. This might be a background that you have. Or this might be your attitude or your passion for, for the organization or for the mission. And be ready to really answer this question because I think that it will help you in an interview process. But at the same point, if an organization doesn't know what it needs help with today, or what its biggest problem is, maybe that's an area where you can help out, uh, where you can really add value. And then secondly, do you have the skills to grow with our organization? So other than the immediate term, usually when we think about someone, uh, an organization that has a job posting or that needs to add staff, they have a certain need. But after the short-term need, they might want to be a place where you want to have a career or have a or have a short stint. So this is something that you have to think about yourself. Is this an organization where people stay for two or three years or they stay for 20? And if they stay for 20 or 30 years, you have to make sure that either you have the skills to, to grow with the organization or that organization wants to develop you. I think that that's sort of a key point. 